In this video, I'm going to show you how to download macOS Tahoe and create a bootable installer USB that can be used to completely reset a Mac and perform a fresh install of macOS Tahoe. The first step is to download macOS Tahoe from Apple. To do this, go into Applications, then scroll down and click Terminal. Once Terminal opens, you can get a list of the macOS versions available to download by typing software update hyphen hyphen list hyphen full hyphen installers. You'll see a message saying finding available software. And after a few seconds, you'll see a list of the macOS versions available to download. We can see here that the most recent version is 26.0.1. To begin downloading it, type software update hyphen hyphen fetch hyphen full hyphen installer hyphen hyphen full hyphen installer hyphen version 26.0.1. Hit enter and the download will begin. This will take a while depending on the speed of your internet connection. When it's finished, you'll see a message saying install finished successfully. And if you look in your Applications folder, you'll see the icon for Install macOS Tahoe. Now it's time to use this installer to create the bootable USB. Take a USB flash drive at least 32GB in size and plug it into your Mac. Before the drive can be used to create the installer, we need to format it. Go to Apps, scroll down and click on Disk Utility. When it opens, select your USB drive under External on the left and click on Erase at the top. Choose a name for the drive, I'm just going to call mine USB. The scheme should be GUID Partition Map and the format should be macOS Extended Journaled. Now click on Erase and the drive will be formatted. When it's finished, you'll see a message saying Operation Successful and you can click Done to close the window and then quit Disk Utility. Now we're ready to copy macOS to the USB. Go to this page on the Apple website, which will be linked down below, and scroll down until you see the section labeled Copy the appropriate command. Click in the box under Tahoe three times to highlight the text, then press Command and C to copy it. Now switch back to Terminal and press Command and V to paste the text you just copied. Delete the words My Volume from the end and replace it with the name you gave your USB drive when you formatted it. In my case, that's USB. Hit Enter and you'll be asked for your password. Type your macOS user password, hit Enter again, and you'll be asked if you want to continue. Type Y. Hit enter again and it will begin erasing the disk. You'll see a pop-up saying that Terminal would like to access files on a removable volume. Click allow and create install media will begin copying the necessary files onto your USB. This will take a while to complete depending on the speed of your USB drive. When it's finished, you'll see a message saying install media now available. Now the drive's ready to be used for a fresh install of macOS. Eject the drive and plug it into the Mac where you want to install macOS Tahoe. Turn the Mac on while keeping the power button held down. You'll see a message below the Apple logo that says keep holding for startup options. When this changes to loading startup options, you can release the power button. Now you'll see three icons. Macintosh HD, which is your Mac's internal SSD, Install macOS Tahoe, and Options. Since I want to do a completely clean install of macOS Tahoe, deleting all of the existing OS and data, I'll choose Options so that we can run Disk Utility to reformat the internal SSD. Select Options and then click Continue. After a few seconds, you'll be asked to choose a language. Select your language and then click the arrow at the bottom. Now in the menu that appears, select Disk Utility and click Continue. 
When Disk Utility opens, select your internal SSD under Internal on the left. This will usually be labeled Macintosh HD. Now click on Erase at the top. Choose a name for the drive, I'm just going to leave it as Macintosh HD, and the format should be left as APFS. This will effectively wipe everything from your Mac, so be sure that there's nothing on there that you want to keep before continuing. Click Erase and you'll see a message reminding you that this Mac will be fully erased and you'll need to reactivate it before it can be used. Click Erase Mac to continue and you'll see another warning message asking if you're sure that you wish to continue. Click Erase Mac and restart and the Mac will be completely erased and will reboot. After it restarts you'll see the Activate Mac screen. Choose your Wi-Fi network from the Wi-Fi menu, then type your Wi-Fi password and click Join. The Mac will now contact Apple's servers to check whether it's logged into iCloud. If it is, you'll be asked for your iCloud password. If not, you'll see a message saying that your Mac is activated. Now you can click Exit to Recovery and you'll be back at the Options menu. You'll see that Reinstall macOS Tahoe has now changed to Reinstall macOS Sequoia. This is because since the Mac has been completely reset, it defaults to the version of the OS that originally shipped with the Mac. So to reinstall macOS Tahoe, we need to reboot from the USB drive. Go to the Apple menu and select Shut Down. After the Mac has completely shut down, turn it back on, keeping the power button held down until you see the text that says Loading Startup Options. Now you can let go of the power button and you'll see two icons. Install macOS Tahoe and Options. Select Install macOS Tahoe and click Continue. After a few seconds you'll see the language selection screen again. Choose your language and click on the arrow. Then click Continue on the next screen and click Agree to the license agreement. Now choose Macintosh HD as the installation drive and finally click Continue to begin the installation. Your Mac will reboot a couple of times during the installation process. After a few minutes you'll find yourself back at the language selection screen where you can select your language and continue through the rest of the account creation steps just as you would with a brand new Mac. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for now, thanks for watching.